there are two different layers of this video. First, I'll be finishing what I did in this video, looking out of bounds in the game and trying to find weird, wacky stuff that you normally can't see. But I'll also be taking a detailed look at this unfinished build that's hidden in the game files when you download the game. It's not too different from the base game, except that already on the main menu, you can tell that you can just put in a checkpoint and start anywhere you want. There's also a little bit of coding shit in the left corner. And you can pretty much just see the game thinking whenever you do stuff. This was obviously being worked on right until the game's release, so I guess they left it in. I don't know what purpose it has now, and I don't know how hard it would be to just not have people downloading this version of the game, so I'm curious to see how long it lasts in the game files. The most interesting thing to me in this mode is that at launch, Chapter 2 settings didn't work for almost everyone. These sliders did absolutely nothing. But if you go back to the debug mode that's presumably a earlier build, they do work. It's like they had it working, but then messed something up when they got the game launched. But by far the most exciting thing about this debug mode for me is that for some reason with the game at launch, it, it's like reading engine information weird. I, I don't know, weird file shit. But the debug mode allows me to do something beautiful. It allows me to turn the lighting off. <laughs> Turning the lighting off allows you to see everything with perfect clarity, albeit it looks awful and incredibly dull. Look, there's an extra train up here. There's a ton of crazy, unfinished, and wacky stuff going on with it, and I'm gonna be showing off all the weird, cool, inconsistent things that I can find. So anytime you see this sort of insanely bright lighting, just know that this is an unfinished version of the game. So not everything is how you might expect a finished game to look. And they got a little ball on the player. We're not just a set of hands, we're like a... We're like a mighty bean as well. A third of the train coat is massive. I can walk on it, and it's floating in midair. Oh, hey, this bro. Advanced obstacle course What's poppin'? To test your Somebody turn told off. me this would be impossible in the unfinished version. We'll have However, to see, Monsignor Worm. On, you we'll have to around. see. Oh yeah, it still says that it's waiting for player underneath the map in However, the released version the of the maze. On, can... Mommy is kind of like Kissy Missy here. Even if I put lights into this room, she's just convinced that she has to stay dark. I imagine it's not like her body reacting to lighting, it's uh... Bye, Mommy. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I teleported myself to the end and he's flying <laughs> let's go mach 10 look at him zoom so if i'm correct we should get to see the worm just go oh my god i moved when it was dark my bad he's really just like in the train station in the wall and slowly makes his way down all right time to find out what it looks like when the pug -a worm eats your booty I think this is going to be the most natural looking, personally. Oh. My. God. I was so wrong. I was unbelievably wrong. What the hell is this? Holy crap. Let's get another look at this. I did not expect it to be this insane. His body completely disconnects, gets way fucking bigger. There's like some leftover meatballs sitting on the ground that are also disconnected from his body. Holy crap, it's weird. He's, his legs like stick out awkwardly. Look at those poor meatballs. They're like crammed together in his face. What the hell? That's crazy. Oh my god, the music's different. Oh my god, he's going so fast. Wait a second. <laughs> Wait, hold on, worm. Chill, chill. Chill. This is before the game was like skill tested. Uh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Wow, what an interesting route to take. You're definitely going easy. We gotta get through this shit as quick as possible. <laughs> Look at the code on the side. Wow, over a hundred iterations. Yeah, that's very exciting. Uh, I'm excited too. Impending 
doom is coming? Oh yeah, impending doom is coming. He's gonna eat my ass, Gabe, please. Wait, can I go through this? Well, it's a wall. <laughs> we, we can work this out, bro. Trust me. <laughs> uh, what do you say? A snack? A doggy treat? Uh, uh. So the easy tunnel is blocked. Maybe that was meant to be a fuck you in early versions. That kind of makes sense. I'm almost upset that didn't make it to launch. The end of the level looks way different than it does in the base game. Hold on. In the base game, it's like a pile of rubble. And I actually got to the end of the cave in my first playthrough because I didn't know you had to go through that window. And Pugapillar ended up not killing me. So we'll see what happens this time. Ah. Interesting plan. <laughs> Can I just like... <laughs> it's like I'm eating the Pugapillar. Oh, how the... Oh, God! I thought I was going to turn the tables. I guess this midsection is still capable of consumption. Look at him go! Speed racer! <laughs> Holy shit. So, I assume this is the same as the final build. He reacts to how fast you're going. So he can ideally just sit near you, close behind. That's interesting. I don't think it's unreasonable that a lot of players probably didn't know to grab that. They probably went to this edge and waited for him, like what I'm doing, but... <laughs> this is what you see. Yeah, it's a lot clearer... Now that I know that his head is just disappearing and reappearing over there, it's a lot clearer what's going on. Oh, Pugworm, Pugworm, Pern, some, whatever the fuck you call it, I don't know. Please don't eat me. Ah, oh, shit. My player's kind of close. Okay, we're good. So, he started dying. No way! There's not multiple. He gets, is... His head and his little meatballs just get teleported back this way. God damn, you're going slow. What a... Why? Here's what the whole area looks from above. It's a pretty sick area. If you could only remember one thing out of this video, remember that you can very easily change the movie files that play on the VHSs and other areas to anything you want. Because today on stream we had quite a bit of fun with it and I was pretty happy with the results. <laughs> we need to talk about your balls. Are they smooth? It's a little loud! <laughs> These are my balls. See how they glisten in the light? Your balls can be like these. And you gotta use the right tools for the job. This? No. This? No! <laughs> this! Don't need that's what you're into. Balls are damn sensitive. Easy to damage. If you don't know, one of the reasons we're able to beat the game in under five minutes is because this wall has no collision in the release build. But it used to have collision. Somewhere between this version and the final shipped version of the game, the collision on this wall was removed. No shit. The poppy grab is the same as before, but here's a lit up version. Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. Absolutely snag. What do you say, Jellybean? Okay, let's go into the medium pipe. It looks like he's right on- Oh! Not the normal time! Why is the normal- too blocked. You have to take the. Uh, oh, bro, not again. There's a. Uh, oh no. Oh my god. First of all, Poppy. Uh, yeah. Second of all, she doesn't have the tape over her mouth. Mommy's still lifting. Keep up the grind, mommy. <laughs> What? That glass break sound effect, that wasn't me adding it in, that's just what the game sounds like in this version? Bunzo's missing his button. He can't tell me what my birthday is. There's a button down here, and I think it's the one that you press at the end to kill the minigame. <laughs> oh, thanks Bunzo, you're a nice guy. Appreciate it. The fucking door is closed. Oh, okay. Well, appreciate it. Listen to me. 
So even though mom's voice is around here, her model isn't anywhere. They don't need her model to make a voice. Kind of hard to show off these tunnels. I think I'll show it off a little bit better in the debug mode. Ah, yes, the mossy green room. This area is super dark in the release version of the game, no matter how much you raise the brightness. These toys never despawn. These guys that are going down there, they're going to be down there forever. Which means that they can really easily just kind of stack up, and that's what I took advantage of in my first playthrough. In order to collect just a shitload of bunzos. <laughs> this doesn't have to be so- oh, thanks. Oh god, they're stacking up. Here's the little bunzo toy generator. They're blinked into existence and turned 90 degrees. I've never seen a water treatment plant that give me more desire to swim in it. It's got them like pool reflections. Unfortunately, if you haven't played the game, it does kill you. But it doesn't kill the bunzos if they fall in the water. What the fuck is that sound effect? That is not the sound effect that came with the finished game. Huh. That's so weird. I wonder if bunzo exists yet. Okay, Bunzo's looking a little bit different. Hey, Bunzo. Oh. Oh. Huh. No, Bunzo's all there, actually. But for some reason, this early version hadn't come in a present. I kind of like present version of Bunzo. But holy crap. I wonder what would happen if you left the game running for just hours with this entire pit fill with Bunzo presents. For the record, there's only one way to do this puzzle. Any other way is simply inferior. Does it get any more Chad than that? So you fall through the vent here. There isn't much to see in the rest of this room where you would have gone because it kind of just goes into nothingness. This is a room you only see through a crack in the wall and you can't really see much. But if you light it up, I, as far as I am aware, you know, I'll have to do my own investigating, but the toys are like children who have been turned into toys. And this strikes me as the place where they might have done it. Also, mommy's dead. Anywhere with stairs that lead up to a straight drop down to the bottom of the room is very suspicious. Also, I'm not sure this beach tech machine comes up anywhere else in the game, and it makes a lot of sense that it would be here. Maybe Mama used it, because she's a bit. I also think this is the only room that has a wheelchair. There's a whole bunch of stuff in this room that just doesn't show up anywhere else, and you can barely even see it normally. I love how there's just a gargantuan wheelchair here, and then a tiny one here. It's like, yes, we'll take the same wheelchair asset, but we'll make a kid's version. This wheelchair truly is massive. Like, bringing in the player here? Holy shit. Clearly, they enjoy doing experiments on extremely tall people. I know I've been talking about this room for a while, but it's so fucking whack. Like, they just shoved a whole- what is this doing here? They just shoved a whole bunch of assets in this room. They're like, yeah, we got a couple spare fucking steel frames, a couple spare storage shelves. Yeah, just put them all in the crack room. This must be where mommy takes baths. And like also this ladder. <laughs> like <laughs> these things exist so that I don't know if you fall off the ladder you can like grab the outside. Except there's no way in. It's completely enclosed. It's the prison ladder. There's concrete top too. What the hell? She looks like Mrs. Incredible. <laughs> They just didn't quite take her model away quick enough in the old version. Interesting, the TV's over here this time. It's like one of the biggest things that's changed between versions is just like the position of the VHS's and their players. This is where you meet Mommy for the first time to kind of start off the big final chase. But I can't see her anywhere off the start. It looks like her model isn't in play yet. All right, let's see what mommy looks like coming down in view mode unlit. Yeah. She pretty much spawns in the position that you see her in. 
So what does mom look like once she's done counting down from 10? If you stick within eye's reach, you'll just die when she gets down to zero. But what about if you leave and then just pop a quick camera back to where she is? Oh my god, she's just staring at the player and then does this. <laughs> Uh, yes. Very scary. Oh, she's coming for you, blue head. You better watch yourself. Ooh. She's terrible at hide and go seek. <laughs> I can see all the falling bunzos over there. Oh my god, they've almost made a full layer on the ground. There's just a missing wall here in the unfinished version. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. It's cool, no judging. I'm not judging. If you have a hard time getting the mommy collectible, you can just like jump over the vent, and as long as you keep holding forward, you just kind of, yeah. It's actually really hard to grab. The first time mommy climbs down from the ceiling to chase you, she's here. She's waiting. In the same prowling stance that she left when she finished her countdown. I wonder if this is like her new base model. The angry mommy spider fingers base model. Still with no brain. Whoa! The door opens outwards. Let's see what all the mommy deaths look like. <laughs> well, it's not as bad as the huggy one, but... What's she doing with her legs, Matt? Interesting. Ah, shit. Not a kid. Not really out of bounds, but here's what mommy does in the room when you're hanging from the ceiling. This isn't something players normally see because it's really hard to hang yourself, but I figured out a way to do it. And then she just disappears. If you didn't know, the fire only happens like right there. So you can just vibe in the oven, no problem. So yeah, as we approach, you can really easily just check her out. Wow, never would have seen that coming, mommy. Not only that, but both this mommy and the mommy who's going to chase you when you pull this lever after you get away from this one are both waiting. Both in that sort of... Wait, what? What? Whoa. I take it back. This one's long <laughs> limbed. Holy. <laughs> Her head just like goes into the coal. And then she outy. You know what you can do in a normal playthrough? Come over here. Oh, what a nice lever. Look over the edge. Hello there. Dude, it is already Mommy City out here. We got meow, Mommy. <laughs> we got chillin' Mommy. Is that like a Dark Souls bonfire? No, it's a lamp, okay. We got chillin' throwing gang signs, Mommy. <laughs> we got I am speed, Mommy. Holy crap, look at this one go. Uh, down here is a happy eyes closed tea posing, Mommy. Oh my goodness, words, 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 words. Arms passing. Mommy runs past. Slightly faster than her. Arm block. Arm blocks path. You enter a tiny pipe. Hand emerges from the darkness straight towards you. Mommy crawls out of an eerily small space. Those are the descriptions for all the mommies in the chase. If you pay attention to the chase mommies, that pretty much describes all of them. Ah, uh, yes. And then we have a very casual stroll mommy right here. Found another super speedy wiggly one. Oh my god. I'm quite certain that the mommies in the finished version aren't perpetually in an animation. Uh, okay, I can already see one of the mommies. <laughs> can I touch it? Can I get like a head pat? Eh. Oh, thanks for the head pat, mommy. Appreciate it. Uh, unfinished video games. Missing gear. What the hell is this early version of the gear puzzle? Hmm. Look, you can barely see one of the running mommies there. 
And the one that you can usually see the head of right here in the launch game, you can't see its head. Once you pull the lever and get this mommy to come chase after you, an arm reaches up. There's a mommy there. And there's a third mommy there. What the fuck is this chase? They're everywhere, man. That right there, that's a unique mommy. I don't know if we'll be able to find it though. Over there, a unique one just went past. We got a mommy ready over here. The whole fleet is fucking ready. We got a mommy down here. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Welcome to the mommy verse. We got a mommy over here. So each kind of arm that you see during this is another mommy that they have in the default angry mommy stance, but they just have them reaching out. There she is, the demon mommy herself with a random arm out of fucking nowhere. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine mommies here. This one does actually follow you all the way up here. <laughs> see ya, mommy. Let's see how unfinished the chase is. <laughs> oh my god, that was so fast. It is not that fast in the release game. Holy shit. Whoa! Oh shit, she's flying. She does not go that fast. She does not go that fast normally. Holy shit balls. Uh, uh, that's in the ground. Okay, cool. That's a little unfinished. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I got out of that. Holy crap. Okay. She's running in slow motion. It's time to see the mommy death from a whole bunch of different perspectives. First off, inside the machine. <laughs> and here's the disembodied arm that grabs mommy and pulls her away. Ooh, spoopy. Prototype, you forgot part of mommy. <laughs> it's an arm too. Damn, there's not a lot left. She's got a little wire that sticks out here, a hand that sticks out here, and this track that the arm takes her body through goes quite a ways. It would have been the perfect secret to just like have this attached to something, but no, we have no idea what the prototype really looks like. Unless it's just an arm. I mean, that'd be kind of funny. I want to know if when she kills you after getting out of it, if it looks any different. She just freezes in place. Let's see it from the back. You know, if she hadn't gotten her foot stuck, she would have been fine. She would have just lost an arm. Not a good play, man. Not a good play. Now here's the fucking question. Wow, more doors <laughs> that opened like that. The final question of the unfinished version of the game. What does the prototype look like? And does it look the same when you kill mommy? Watch me not, wait a second, bro. bro oh. That is way tough. It's like she offed herself but wanted to pretend that it was me. Oh, I'm pushing myself through the machine. How could you have done this to me? Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, my. It's a mom soup. What the hell is this? They took all the moms that they were done with and they just yeeted them under the mat.
<laughs> man, this one still has places to be. Look at this. Holy shit balls. There's a thumbnail in here somewhere. There has to be. So there's just no prototype hands, because I mean, <laughs> mommy eats herself through the machine and then nothing pulls her through. <laughs> you dumbass. I have exciting news. If you're wondering how the hell getting the green hand early works, now you can watch the game try to figure it out as well. I don't know what it's thinking, but there's a lot of falses and one true right at the end of the list. And the end result is that green hand is true. Way out in the distance, this is actually in the launch version as well, there's an untextured box. I actually tried getting to it last video, but I couldn't find it. But with unlit, there it is. Also, some really wacky stuff happens Obstacle if you crouch and then jump as you release crouch. <laughs> Just at the start of the, the statue's minigame. And you can use it to skip over it. Alright, let's see if we can get that centipede strat as good as we did. Dude, I'm like accidentally getting it this It's a weird, such a weird strat. All right, hard pipe. It's gotta be you. No way. Why? Why did they just say fuck you if you're playing the test version? You don't get to finish whatever the hell this game is called. This is this is your fault. You're cheating. You put up these barriers, asshole. This is the last time I'm dying to you. I'm gonna cheat next time. Yeah, you, you just left. I'm gonna... Oh, he... All right, let's watch the train go. Chugga, chugga, choo-choo. Look at those wheels turn. Oh, yeah. What a realistic train. It's like clipping through the track. That's pretty funny. But hey, you know, there's no pressure to make a train that has wheels that roll because you're never gonna see him roll. <laughs> it's like drifting the corner. And soon we'll be able to answer a question that I actually get quite a bit while streaming. What happens if you never stop the train? Down we go. Oh shit. So at this point, if I wanted to, I could pull the brake. What's going to happen? Interesting. You can see the game station over there. But the train is constantly going down. It's almost as if the train's not moving at all. And in fact, just the level is moving underneath the train repeatedly. If you never pull the brake, the train very simply never stops. You'll just permanently go on this loop until you figure out where the brake is. So let's do it. Let's pull the brake. Choo choo, oh shit. So now it takes you onto the last kind of bit of the track. And crashes your sorry ass. The last train car is also completely <laughs> buried in the track. <laughs> Wait, the last two cars are completely buried. Oh my god. There's derailment and then there's this. Also, I have no idea why they put the play care sign on the ceiling. From the player's point of view, you're looking out this window and you see play care, but from the outside, it looks pretty silly. Yeah, we had a pretty bad train derailment today. We lost half the train to the back rooms. It was crazy. And honestly, a good chunk of the front of the train as well. Question, can I even get in the train in this version? And why is there another player right here? Uh, this is not how... Okay, yeah, I figured. I didn't even put in a password, but you can just move the train it's gonna be way more scuffed than the release version and i'm here for it <laughs> 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 
It doesn't even turn. That's hilarious. Okay, what the hell is over here? What is about to go down? What the shit is this? You did it. Against all odds. You defeated mommy. And you freed me once again. You are perfect. Too perfect to lose. I'm sorry. I cannot let you leave yet. Again, the music isn't you done. So much potential. They're playing I chapter one poppy music. The ones who had disappeared all those years ago. But they're gone. They've been gone for a long time. Terrible things have happened. And I am the cause. Being able to exist as a doll. It has killed so many people. So much is unknown to you. Where do I even begin? But you can fix everything. I see it inside you. This train is now heading towards play care. It's the best place to start looking. I w <gasps> What? What is... Yeah, that is a very different speech from the release game. Can I pull the brake? Can. Oh my god, it's fucking two frames per second. Right. Yeah, they didn't quite finish the train. <laughs> I'm stuck, I can't move. I feel like that poppy speech get Well, I die? What? <laughs> <laughs> I beat the game, what the fuck? Alright game, I see. It's one of those you can never actually finish it games. I see. A lot of people wanted to know what happens if you start the train without being in it. And I'm gonna show you. It's also worth noting, because this is another common question as this goes down, that if you never pull the brake on the train, uh, it'll just infinitely keep chilling. You have to pull the brake eventually, and nothing happens if you never pull the brake. Anyway, shit's about to go down. I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna let it happen. You don't realize what's going on? Uh, the game is treating me like I'm in the fucking train. <laughs> oh no, no, not through the world! Oh shit, no! <laughs> And you die. Oh, what a shame. You can take it. Yeah, you can take falling into the void. Don't be a little bitch. Gregory, how about you stop climbing inside of me and start climbing <laughs> inside some bitches? Stupid brown hair having ass. When's the last time you took a shower with your dirty blue colored shirt wearing ass? <laughs> Weird ass cargo shorts, your mama got you away to school last week. <laughs> no wonder you have no friends and decided to come be nice with robots. You loser. Yeah, I'd be crying too if I had to wear that Salvation Army ass clothing. Gregory, what I'm trying to say here is your whole fit is mid and you get zero bitches.